Hello, I'm Jenny, virtual presenter of Canal Innova Plus. Innova Plus News, biotechnology and technological innovation is on the air, bringing posts available on the internet on October 24, 2023. But, before you start, be sure to subscribe to our channel, here on YouTube. It's fast and free. Oh, you're already subscribed, so, thank you so much for your support. Take advantage and press the notification bell to stay up to date with the news of the channel and also like and share the videos you like on your social networks. Help us reach the 1000 subscriber mark. Let's get to today's posts. First block, biotechnology. News number one, happens Bachikadu, October 24, 2023, workshop on biotechnology in health promotes national and international lectures and connects academics with companies. The International Workshop on Biotechnology and Health, Paths to Innovation was held on October 20 and 21, 2023, at the Bachicata Park of the University of Sao Paulo. The event, organized by the Graduate Program, PPG, in Research and Development, Medical Biotechnology, of the Faculty of Medicine of the University of Sao Paulo, attracted 327 participants, 10 from abroad and congressmen from 13 Brazilian states. The event was broadcast primarily via YouTube, with a video by Professor Mesa Ferlin, Vice Rector of UNESP. The event featured national and international presentations, networking opportunities, and presentations on topics and free workshops. The event also highlighted the importance of biotechnology in the scientific technological context of Brazil and its potential applications. News number 2, AgroLink, October 24, 2023, researchers advocate the use of bioinputs and solutions that preserve chemical technologies and biotechnologies. A meeting in Goiânia, attended by 20 agricultural professionals, highlighted the urgent need for measures to be implemented in the use of bioinputs and other practices, such as monitoring moths to ensure effective management of caterpillars, the most difficult crops to manage after the harvest. The meeting discussed the escalation of caterpillar pressure in Bahia, Mato Grosso, Mato Grosso, do Sol and Maranjo, where species such as Helicoverpa spp, Spadoptera frigiperta and Racaplosia nu cause increasingly severe damage to soybeans, corn and cotton. Australian researchers Paul Grundy and Kristen Knight also participated. The meeting also highlighted the importance of baculovirus in the control of caterpillars in Brazil, recommending the planting of 10% to 20% in refuge areas, depending on the crop. News number 3, Butantan Portal, October 24, 2023, Butantan study identifies molecules that can be used in a specific test for Zika, which does not exist today. A study by the Butantan Institute, the Adolfo Lutz Institute, the University of Sao Paulo, USP, and Sao Paulo State University, UNESP-SJRP, aims to prepare Brazil for future Zika epidemics. The current tests on the market still present a risk of cross-reacting with dengue viruses, making it difficult to differentiate between infections. The study identified two fragments of NS1 that detect specific antibodies against Zika, which could be used to develop more accurate tests. Between 2015 and 2016, Brazil faced a significant increase in Zika cases, with about 2 million confirmed cases of congenital brain malformations. The researchers developed synthetic NS1 particles to detect anti-Zika antibodies, which could be used to identify IgG and IgM antibodies and determine if a person is infected. The study also found that the mortality rate in children 3 years and older with the Zika virus was 11.3 times higher than those without the virus. In 2022, Brazil recorded 9 million confirmed cases of Zika, 591 of which were in pregnant women. News number 4, Dario Dioa Map, October 24, 2023, Unifap researchers are among the most influential in the world in Stanford University's 2023 ranking. Two professors from the University of Amapa, Unifap, were included in the list of the most influential scientists in the world by Stanford University. Professor Dr. Jose Carlos Tavares Carvalho, professor of the pharmacology course and currently director of teaching and research at the University Hospital, was included in the ranking for the fourth time. Professor Dr. Clayton Breno Rodriguez dos Santos, professor of the biodiversity and biotechnology course, was included in the ranking for the third time. The ranking is based on an analysis of scholarly data, including citations and publications, to identify scientists whose work has been widely recognized and influential in the scientific community. The ranking is based on several metrics, including the total number of citations received by the author, the number of citations per article, the impact of cited publications, and collaboration with other influential researchers. Second block, technological innovation. News number 5, added value, October 24, 2023, Gartner announces the top 10 technology trends for 2024. Gartner has announced the top 10 strategic technology trends for businesses to explore in 2024. These include democratizing artificial intelligence, Gen AI, ensuring access to advanced language models, fostering trust, risk management, and leveraging AI-assisted development. By 2026, Gartner predicts that more than 80% of enterprises will use AI-enabled APIs and applications in their production environments. The company also expects that by 2026, companies will have 80% of their decision-making processes automated. The company also underscores the importance of intelligent applications, which can adapt to users and offer dynamic experiences. 
Gartner also highlights the need for companies to invest in talent and talent management to ensure the success of their business in the face of technological challenges. Continuous Threat Exposure Management STEM, is a pragmatic and systematic approach that allows for the continuous and consistent assessment of a company's digital and physical assets. Platform Engineering is the discipline of building and operating in-house self-service development platforms, and Industry Cloud Platforms ICPs, is just an increase from the estimated 15% for 2023. News number 6, IG Technologia, October 24, 2023, the role of generative AI and the imperative need for capacity building. ChatGPT is the rise of generative AI, which is shaping the world unheard of. Training in the different AI tools is an imperative need in a world that is increasingly oriented towards automation and technological innovation. In healthcare, education, manufacturing, and just startups are demonstrating that AI can improve the quality of medical and educational services. AI enablement is important for businesses and individuals who want to stay competitive and relevant. Training is necessary to improve business competitiveness, enhance employability, foster innovation, ensure ethics and responsibility, and involve understanding of the ethical, legal and social principles surrounding this technology. The online courses and resources offer generative AI training, from introductory tutorials to advanced certification programs. Participating in communities dedicated to AI also helps to stay up to date with the latest trends and discoveries. Experimenting with generative AI tools and practical application is a valuable way to learn. ChatGPT is just the beginning of a generative AI revolution, boosting competitiveness and employability, but also ensuring AI is used ethically and responsibly across industries. News number 7, Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Supply, October 24, 2023, Brazil has made a revolution through agriculture, declares Carlos Favaro, at an event on a sustainable future in agriculture in Sao Paulo. Carlos Favaro, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, participated in the Credit Suisse 2023 Agricultural Investment Conference, highlighting the country's evolution from a food importer to a global provider of food security. He highlighted the country's commitment to public and private research and technological innovation, as well as the partnership and cooperation of other government agencies. Favaro also highlighted the work of the Ministry of Agriculture, MAPA, in promoting organic agriculture, irrigation systems, renewable energy and sustainable practices. The conference aimed to discuss challenges and opportunities in the agricultural sector, global food security, and the use of new technologies to increase productivity, efficiency, and sustainability. Favaro also highlighted Brazil's growing ecosystem of innovation ecosystems, with the aim of establishing a large Brazilian agri-food innovation network, promoting investments, experiences and opportunities for developed and less developed regions. News number 8, Agnshia Par, October 24, 2023, Sectet, through startup Para, debates innovation for the public sector in Para. Carlos Favaro, Minister of Agriculture and Livestock, participated in the Credit Suisse 2023 Conference on Agricultural Investment, highlighting Brazil's evolution from a food importer to a global provider of food security. He highlighted the country's commitment to public and private research and technological innovation. Favaro also highlighted the government's efforts to promote sustainable agriculture, including the creation of Embrapa and the use of renewable energy. The conference aimed to foster dialogue between producers, investors and companies in the agricultural sector.